So I just got out here this morning. The conditions are perfect for long range shooting. There's no wind. It's about 8.30 in the morning. It's gonna be an awesome day to go out and shoot some long range. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my big target. I only brought these two. So we're gonna cruise back to 1,000. We're gonna test out this Tika 87 grain VMAX. And then my AR-15 with 75 grain boat tail hollow points. This board right here is to hopefully get a better range with my range finder, give it a bigger object to reflect off of. So we're gonna go ahead and back up way out there and uh, have some fun. Just at the tip of my finger, there's those couple dots. Those are my targets. Just got to my final firing position and it is going to be 1,096 yards. Confirmed it with my range finder and my GPS tape measure on my phone. Going to be shooting my Palmetto State Armory 18 inch stainless steel barrel, rifle length gas system, one to seven twist, shooting Hornady 75 grain bullets with Varget powder. These are my hand loads. I have a whole series on how I came up with them. Uh, gonna be a lot of fun. Let's do it. I'm going for the right plate. Okay, looks like we're hitting five MOA low. Possibly seven. Just low. I ended up holding about 18 MOA plus 39 in the dial. All right, round two. These bullets are dancing around it a little bit. Fairly sure that was an impact. I saw no dust trace and I'm pretty sure I saw the target move. Just high. I believe that was high. Again, no call, but I saw no dust trace. We're gonna call that good with the AR-15. Now we have my Tika T3X stainless, chambered in 243. Up front, we have a Wit Machine muzzle rise eliminator brake. It's a clamp on, you don't have to thread your barrel. It's fantastic, they work awesome. This one's topped off with an SWFA fixed 20 power, just like my AR-15. This is my first time using my bubble level, so I will have to make sure I don't forget to check it. I have a Kydex cheek rest, custom made by Litton Custom Holsters. He is out of Salt Lake, Utah. And then uh, we have, I actually moved the butt pad on my Tika to better line up with my shoulder because I moved the cheek piece, I moved the butt pad up and I can get a more direct in line. I can get more directly in line with the bore axis of the rifle and it jumps less. Great gun, this thing shoots awesome. This is my first time shooting a thousand yards with my hand loads, which is an 87 grain Hornady VMAX. Currently it's sitting in a 20 MOA scope mount on top of a 20 MOA base. This thing is set up to shoot really far, a thousand yards, probably is just going to take advantage of the first 20 MOA, not the full 40. I created a couple dope charts for my rifles and uh, I go ahead and keep them on the guns. So I stuff this up under the cheek rest of my gun. We're gonna go ahead and check my data and dial it into the scope. Now with the Tika, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the left plate, which is the yellow circle. Let's go ahead and load this up. About four or five MOA high, not too bad. Let's go ahead and dial that down. We'll 
try for shot two. About one and a half MOA low. Dead center, I can see I'll it. Dial the total of 32 and a half MOA to put me on target at 1,096 yards. Three shots, but I did hit my plate dead center. So I think we're ready for the next round. All right, the barrel has had time to cool off. Loaded up another three rounds. That was a hit. Plate danced around pretty well. I hit the right side of it. There may be just a touch of wind that picked up. High. This is the last three rounds I'm going to shoot at this right now. We'll see what we can do. No dust trace. Felt good. I can see mirage on my scope. There is a slight wind now. Hit. I heard that one as well. I think I need to hold just a touch more for wind. I was holding left edge of the plate and it hit the right edge of the plate. That was high. That's all we're going to shoot. We'll call that good for now. Let's go check out the target. Going to get the target. It takes me a few minutes to get there just because the road's rough and it's so damn far away. This is awesome. I highly encourage anyone to get into long range shooting and there's definitely budget ways to do it. I was shooting roughly in there. So that's how far away I was, 1100 yards across the desert with very low wind. The breeze is now starting to pick up. The left is my Tika target. The right is my AR-15 target. Let's start with the 223. 1100 yards with my 223. I got a seven and a half inch spread on two hits. Yes, I know I shot way more than two at this thing, but this is the absolute outer edge of where a 223 will hold together. That's awesome out of my 18 inch affordable AR-15. This thing is not a long range gun. It's just an AR-15 that Palmetto sells. Did fantastic. I could not be happier with this. I shot close to 15 or 20 rounds. I'll post the real number on the screen. There you go. And it did awesome. I couldn't be happier with it. At a thousand yards, it hit my big plate a few times. At 1100 yards, I hit my small plate a few times. Now remember, on my first trip, I was shooting a 36 inch tall, 24 inch wide target. Now we're down to a 14 inch plate over here. That thing's about 16 wide and 12 tall. Those are small targets at 1100 yards. I'm really this happy. I have some questionable hits and impact marks. Down at the bottom where the tape measure is, I'm fairly certain that's a hit. Um, so if we measure from there up to this big flat splat, that's a nine inch spread. That's actually sub MOA. Quite a bit lower than sub MOA because at 1100 yards, it's 11 inches. Now, as we get to the center, that's a definite hit. I can't quite figure out what this is. It looks like it's dented now, and uh, it's definitely grayed out. I don't know if it's part of the jacket that went into here or if it's a separate hit. It almost looks to me like two separate hits. But I mean, we got one, two, three, four, five hits at 1,100 yards. It's a $700 gun. I did a few redneck mods to it. I put a $300 SWFA on it, and it shoots 1,100 yards, 9-inch spread across a 5-shot group. A lot of fun. Appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe. I always come out here and play in my desert playground. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk to you later. Sorry, loads of bacon. I forgot my revolver tracers today. Didn't get to shoot them 1,000 yards. Maybe next time. Real quick, back on my loading bench, I re-zeroed the scope on the Tika from 1,000 yards and shot some to make sure it was still zeroed. Uh, I think I shot one here, one here, and then another one landed right inside there. So those SWF phase are awesome for the price. Go ahead and get yourself one.